Hey everyone, Robert Silver here. In this video, I want to take you behind the scenes as I set up my studio lighting to capture black and white portraits of affiliate management model Nicole Spearman live on Instagram using only one light source and B flats for creating positive and negative fill lighting. Before we get started, I wanted to, to let you know that if you're looking for a quick and easy way to improve the final results of your photos, I highly recommend you checking out my Fashion Photography Lightroom preset collection. With one click, you are able to not only save editing time, but also produce more impact of your final work. Click the link below to check out the before and after photos and more details on the presets that I now offer. If you have any questions about the lighting setup or editing process, please post your comment down below in the description section. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, uh, today I want to just set my, my uh, cell phone here, go live as I set up for some black and white portraits I'll be shooting today. Later on with Nicole Spearman, you've seen me shoot with her tons of times uh, throughout my Instagram. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post the comments down below. If you just wanna say hi, that's awesome too. So let's get to it. So as my key light, I'm going to be using the uh, my Explore or Godox 8600 as my key light and um, a Photox Softbox, an Octabox. I think this is a 30, I think this is 36 inch Octabox. Now I've had this for a long time. This was actually my first Softbox that I ever purchased. Um, it's got the Bones S mount ring on the back there and I got it when I got when, when, when did I get it I think I was still shooting with Paul Buffs um, Alien B speed uh, flashes now that I'm with um, Godox over here I switched the, the bracket in the back but this is a very well built um, softbox so I've always kept it and today I decided to use it just because I wanted a medium size um, softbox for what I'm gonna to do today with Nicole. And uh, you can see I have the egg crate, egg crate grid on it. So, this is gonna be the key light. Cool, turn this puppy on. Awesome. And let's see how we're gonna do this today. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think we're going to switch the arms. Safety first, not only for yourself or your subject, but for your gear. Shit. I'm going to set this up in a more of a butterfly pattern, which is about 45 degrees or so above the subject, directly above the subject. And uh, a little bit downward on the push on this one. But this is gonna be more like 40 degrees or something. Cool. Yeah, this is looking pretty righteous. It's looking pretty fucking good. Back it up a little bit. You can 
see why I set it up this way. It'll make much more sense in a second. Um, one, two, three. I'm actually going to use my tripod today to shoot uh, these portraits just to make sure that I can get a consistent amount of composition in the uh, photos we're going to take today. And today we're going to shoot all in black and white. And I tend to shoot redundant as far as like um, raw and large fine JPEG, just as a backup. Cool, thing like this, would be good. And you can see what I'm doing right now is I'm actually lining everything up. Um, so I want the, the uh, camera to be in line with the flash. Here. So I want it to be in line with the flash, and this is going to be in line with the middle of the um, uh, of this C stain, which is going to hold the white paper, which we should set up right now. Cool. C-stand is a great way to use as a as a um, as a um, backdrop paper holder. A stand. Okay. Here, just in case I need it. Awesome. Nice. Okay, let me see how that looks. Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in.
Nossa. Tá. What do you guys think? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, go. Nice. So it's gonna spill. So it's gonna be about 30% of it will be right directly in the face of the model. And then maybe about 50 to 60% is gonna spill to the background a little bit. I think that's gonna be pretty nice. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them down below. If not, just hang out. That's cool, too. Is there a favorite lighting setup that you guys like using? When you're in studio, what is your go-to setup? Do you like using one light, two light, or three light setup? two V-flats to create negative fill on camera right and camera left of my subject and then um, and just use a single light later on I'm gonna add perhaps maybe an umbrella a white I'm gonna use a flash for the background to hit the white and create a um, so it becomes super duper white you know nice and blown out and uh, I'll use a white bounce reflective umbrella for that one but right now I'll start off with a single light and just see how that goes and adjust from there.
camera, I'm going to be using the Lumix S5 uh, and the Lumix S Pro 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 lens. And um, I'm, I'm, I may switch to the Lumix S, um, was it 70 to 200 f 4 lens for in studio uh, later on. It depends how I feel and whatnot. I also brought. Um, so here's the 7200 f4 lens, and then I also bought the 24 to 105 f4 lens because this actually shoots macro too. So um, I may punch in super close to my subject's face to get some great black and white detail portraits. So I may experiment with that as well. But in general, um, I'm going to do a lot of it with the 7200, and then um, probably this this uh, uh, the 7200 here, excuse me, and the 24 to 70. So. We'll see. I like to make sure I pack, like overpack just because I hate forgetting things at home or creatively if I want to pull out something to use. I like to make sure I have it uh, with me and especially in studio uh, outside of carrying from the car to the studio. It's not going to hurt my back to carry extra lenses. So. <sighs> Personally, I like to show up about an hour or so early um, just to make sure the setup is good. I don't like to stress. I don't like setting up ideally when the subject's here. That's when I want to talk to them and perhaps get them acclimated to the studio, get them ready, make them feel comfortable. And I'd rather not concentrate on setting up. I like to do all my pre-setup an hour or so before they ever arrive. And, um, and then uh, I make sure that my part, I mean my job, is that much easier the day of the shoot or the, you know when it's shoot happens So currently, I'm, uh, I'm metered at f11, which is what I want. I want, I want extreme detail for these portraits, and then my um, my speed is going to be 160, and my ISO is at 100. I always start with those two variables first, uh, which is one uh, sixtieth uh, uh, of a second and ISO 100. Uh, as far as f stops are concerned, in general, I go anywhere. Well, I flex between f8 and f11 but today i want f11 just for i just want even more detail in the shot I'm gonna see if I can do a uh, a time shoot here. I mean, a, uh, yeah, do a selfie. Let's see if we got here. Do this here selfie. Man, that's quick. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. 
So I have it on face detect, face and eye detect. So let's see if it works. Okay. Let's see if it works. Hey, my, my shirt is black as hell. So let's see. There you go. Okay. Man, that shirt is dark as fudge. Okay. I'm digging it, though. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Let's try to do it again. Selfie shot. We'll try it. All right, you guys are witnessing it. Let's see how. Wow, look at this guy. Let me show you the result of my silly attempt at a selfie here. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in when you did. I'm trying to wave to everybody over here. Anyway, let's see. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Boy, oh boy. Shadows. A lot of shadows, huh? So let's, 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 uh, I'm going to play with that later. I may switch the, uh, so as you can see, I had it on, um, let me see if I can show you. Here we go. I had it on, um, face eye detect. I'm shooting raw. I'm Fine res JPEG. I'm shooting in standard because in raw it doesn't really matter. And here are the rest of the settings that I'm going to shoot the portraits in. Um, again, for those that don't know, I'm going to be using the 8600 up here as my key light. And then I had the Photox um, Octabox with a dope grid on it. Bow! I like this. I do like this softbox a lot, actually. Um, the 24 to 70 Lumix S Pro. And that's what I'm rocking with. So, with all that said, um, so like I said, this is just a setup that I'm gonna be starting with. It's not what I'm gonna end with, but it's what I'm starting with. I may flip the um, V Flax to a positive fill, which means turning them white instead of black. With the negative fill, you definitely create more darker shadows, uh, less bounce of the light. And then um, I'm using that single light, and later on I'm gonna add a light that will hit directly the uh, white backdrop, which will make it nice and blown out. And that's definitely a technique I'm gonna be using later on today for the portraits. So if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, feel free to post them down below. Stay tuned because I will be posting all my stories, um, behind the scene, uh, real videos and photos from today's shoot. Thank you for watching.